Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture we will discuss about solid waste management. Solid waste management. So there are some terms which are related to solid waste. The terms are given below. The first term is ash. The non-combustible solid byproduct of incineration or other burning process is called ash. So the byproduct of burning process is known as ash. Now what is incineration? Incineration is a process by which we are burning the solid waste material to produce electricity or power. So we will discuss incineration in detail in the coming lectures. So usually the burning of fossil fuel, the burning of coal, the burning of wood produced ash. The ash is the byproduct of solid waste or the byproduct of wood, the byproduct of uh, paper, it can be the byproduct of coal, uh, other uh, biodegradable or the byproduct of other biodegradable material. Uh, usually the ash is the inorganic, uh, the ash, uh, the composition of ash is usually inorganic. The inorganic material are present in the ash. So uh, because we know that the uh, when we uh, are burning substances it produce, uh, it, produce, it produce the carbon dioxide, water uh, and energy plus ash. So the ash is the byproduct. The second term is bulky waste. Large waste such as appliances, furniture and tree and branches that cannot be handled by normal MSW processing method. So large waste such as appliances, furniture is known as bulky waste. MSW uh, means the municipal solid waste. We will discuss municipal solid waste in this lecture. The third one is biodegradable material. Any organic material that can be broken down by microorganism into simpler, more stable compound is known as biodegradable material. Most organic waste, for example, food, paper, are biodegradable. So, those material which can be broke down into simpler uh, substances by the use of microorganism like fungi, uh, bacteria, etc., is known as biodegradable material. For example, food can be um, the complex food molecule can be broken down by the by bacteria or fungi into simpler stable molecules uh, and the process is known as uh, by and the material like food paper etc are known as biodegradable material so um, basically biodegradable material are those material uh, which can be uh, broken down further by the use of uh, microorganism like bacteria fungi or other bioorganism uh, other microorganism compost the fourth one is compost the material resulting from composting is known as compost so compost also called humus is a soil conditioner and in some in, in, and in some cases is used as fertilizer so the material which come out from the material which are produced as a result of composting is known as compost and the compo and the compost is used as a fertilizer now what is composting composting the biological decomposition of solid organic material by bacteria fungi and other organism into soil like product so the decomposition of organic material by microorganism into soil like product is known as composting so this composting is uh, uh, various substances can be composed and then we after composting we mix it with, uh, we mix it with the soil to increase the fertility of our soil so the compost increase the fertility of soil it is used as a fertilizer the sixth one is disposal the final handling of solid waste is the is known as the disposal so the final handling of solid waste after collection and processing after processing and collection the final handling of solid is 
called disposal. Leached liquid that has seeped through final liquid that has seeped through a landfill or compost pile and has accumulated bacteria and other possibly harmful dissolved or suspended material. So uh, liquid that consists of harmful uh, bacteria and suspended material and that seep through landfill is known as leachat. Actually leachat is nothing but it is the harmful water which come out uh, through landfill. So uh, for example uh, when we dump the you know, solid waste uh, inside the earth then uh, after raining the rain mix with the solid waste and the, uh, the some of the uh, some of the um, component some of the component or some of the waste of the solid mix with rain water and then it penetrate through the uh, earth and it uh, 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 contaminates the uh, underground water and this contaminated uh, underground water is known as leachate so leachate is the dirty water uh, which uh, produced from the uh, solid waste which are uh, which wa which are we uh, which uh, which are uh, inside the uh, earth so the buried uh, solid uh, material when mixed with uh, rain water it produces uh, harmful water which is called leachate uh, what is msw we have already discussed that msw the msw means the municipal solid waste municipal solid waste so we should treat the municipal solid waste to produce useful material to produce energy to produce power we can use municipal solid waste because these municipal solid waste can produce land pollution we have already discussed about the land pollution in the previous lectures so the municipal solid waste can produce land pollution and it can be handled it can be treated into you uh, into less harmful or less uh, polluted or less contaminated substances now what is MSWM? MSWM means municipal solid waste management. So solid waste, municipal solid waste management. So this solid waste management consists of uh, a lot of things. So if it is there is a management to collect to transport these solid. So this is known as municipal solid waste management system. The uh, Number 10, uh, pottery civil, pottery, uh, pottery civil uh, subject to decomposition or decay, usually used in the reference to food waste and other organic waste that decay quickly. So those food substances or food, those food which decay quickly are known as uh, uh, pottery civil substances or pottery civil materials. Actually, potrisable uh, is used as a term used for food materials. Refuse all non-hazardous solid waste from community that required collection and transport to processing or disposal site is called refuse or municipal solid waste. So MSW is the other name for MSW is refuse. And the refuse consists of non-hazardous solid waste. Non hazardous solid waste are those waste which are which are not hazardous, which uh, which are not toxic, not hazardous like uh, uh, glasses, uh, paper, etc. So all non hazardous solid waste from community that required collection and transport to processing or disposal site. So those solid which uh, which required collection and transport system is known as a refuse. Now uh, the refuse is further divided into two terms garbage the refuse is either garbage or it can be rubbish. So what is garbage? Garbage is mostly decomposable food waste. The, decompose, the, the decomposable food waste is known as garbage or 
producible so producible are garbage is are same thing the second uh, the second type of refuse is rubbish usually the rubbish is uh, used for the dry solid waste it is mostly dry material such as glass paper cloth wood etc so the dry uh, the dry uh, solids like glass paper cloth uh, wood etc is known as rubbish so you should collect uh, the municipal solid waste management system are uh, responsible to collect the refuse or garbage or rubbish so these people are usually uh, collect the garbage and rubbishes from cities uh, uh, industrial areas and after collection these garbages and rubbish are going to uh, are going to uh, safe site where they can uh, where it is uh, it is then burned or uh, simply dumped inside the earth so the rubbish and garbage the difference the one is for organic material and the second one is for the uh, dry and organic material the one is for the food waste garbage is for food waste and the other is for non food waste like glasses paper etc refuse derived fuel so fuel produced from municipal solid waste so the municipal solid waste we can produce fuel so we can produce fuel from the municipal solid waste and the this that fuel can used to produce the power or the energy or electricity so fuel produced from municipal solid waste because we have already said that municipal solid waste the other name for municipal solid waste is refused and the fuel which are uh, derived from the refuse is called refused fuel refuse derived fuel so the fuel derived from refused substances or municipal, municipal solid waste is called the refuse derived fuel so fuel produced from municipal solid waste that has undergone processing processing can include separation of recyclable and non combustible material shredding size reduction and pelletizing so the um, now how the uh, fuel can produce from the municipal solid waste uh, there are various uh, processes uh, which uh, are used to uh, derive uh, fuel from the municipal solid waste the process can be the first process is separation of recyclable and non combustible material uh, uh, first of all we are separating various kind of solid waste then after uh, that we uh, uh, are using the shredding process uh, uh, i mean cutting process and then we are using size reduction in size reduction it is also we are uh, reduce the size of material and then we are used to and we are going to uh, produce or prepare pellet of these waste and that pellet can then burn uh, to produce the electricity so we will discuss these in the, the coming lecture the uh, number 15 waste to energy wte waste to energy plant a facility that use solid waste solid waste material processed or raw so a facility that use the waste material the waste material can be either the final waste or it can be the raw material to produce energy so the facility which use the solid waste to produce energy is called solid waste to energy so plant so those plant which are using to convert waste to energy is called waste to energy plant the waste to energy plant include incinerator we have already discussed incinerator that produce steam for district heating or industrial use or that generate electricity they also include facility that convert landfill gas to electricity now kind of waste solid waste liquid waste domestic commercial and industrial waste are known as solid waste 
and these domestic commercial industrial waste are the main source of land pollution the example of solid waste are plastics container bottles cans papers scrap iron and other trash liquid waste these solid waste are in the solid form and the liquid waste are in the flow form are in the liquid form example of liquid waste domestic washing chemical oil waste water from ponds manufacturing industry and other sources so textile industry uh, are the main source of liquid waste similarly thermal power plant nuclear power plant are also the source of solid and liquid waste classification of waste according to their property so according to property the the above classification was on the basis of base solid waste and liquid waste the other waste are also the gaseous waste like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide are in the gaseous form and which are creating uh, air pollution so the above class there are not two type of waste this one these one kind of waste solid waste liquid waste but also there are third kind of waste which is the gaseous waste like sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and ozone uh, chlorofluorocarbon etc so now this classification is on the base of the property of waste classification of waste according to their property biodegradable those way wa those waste which can be degraded those waste which can be decomposed into simpler compound by the action of bacteria fungi and other microorganism are called biodegradable waste for example paper wood fruit and others non biodegradable waste are those waste which cannot be decomposed into simpler compounds or simpler molecule by the action of microorganism like bacteria fungi etc are called non biodegradable waste the non biodegradable waste consist of plastic bottles old machine cans containers and many other materials classification of waste according to their effect on human health and environment this classification are is on the basis of the effect of waste on human and environment hazardous waste waste that is reactive those waste which react with other substances so those waste that is reactive toxic corrosive or otherwise dangerous to living thing and our environment so those waste which are reactive which are toxic which are corrosive which are dangerous to human being which are dangerous to environment which are dangerous to building which are dangerous for plant and other substances is called the hazardous waste the example of hazardous waste are various alkali various bases various acids like sulfuric acid nitric acid uh acid uh, carbonic acid uh similarly the various bases like sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide uh, similarly uh, the other uh, like hydrochloric acid hcl are corrosive which to support is corrosive sodium hydroxide is corrosive so these are toxic and corrosive substances and these are called the hazardous waste many industry by product are hazardous many industries are producing these waste so like sulfuric acid hcl uh, sodium hydroxide plant etc these plant produce these type of waste and these type of waste either go to water body either they go to land so they can uh, create land pollution they can create water pollution and they can create uh, are in simple they create environmental pollution
and are dangerous for environment non hazardous waste substance safe to use commercially industrially agriculture agriculture or economically so those substance which are safe to use which are safe to use commercially economically industrially are non hazardous substances like water what is non hazardous substance so these are non hazardous are uh, some sometime weak base and weak acid are salt sodium chloride sodium chloride is not uh, very toxic or not uh, hazardous substance so this is not these are the non hazardous substances from where these come from where these various solid waste comes where uh, what are the sources of these solid waste there are so many solid waste so municipal solid waste sources the first source is household these waste come out from houses these papers cans glasses uh, etc these come from either houses these either come from commercials or these waste can come from horticulture so horticulture is nothing but it is the uh, it is the uh, it is the uh, plantation the use uh, to produce the process the it is art horticulture actually article uh, horticulture is a art in which people planting various bushes or trees um, various bushes various trees to produce a better quality and quantity of crop fruits and vegetables so the plantation of the plantation the plantation is horticulture so these waste can come out from the institutes these waste can come out from schools hospitals colleges universities etc institutional waste so the paper inks uh chairs broken chair broken sofa these all are come out from institute are these can come out from construction and road sweeping so construction waste uh, barrel the other waste uh, solids uh, after the use of various machinery air compressor etc so these waste either come out from construction household commercial horticulture institute are from institute so this was uh, just introduction to solid waste in the coming lecture we will discuss some more detail we will discuss uh, solid waste management further thank you very much for your attention if you are new to my channel chemical engineering knowledge then please like and subscribe thank you very much